Hi Taurus, hey, welcome to your reading for January 2021 and we're going to talk a little bit about the energy of the whole 2021 year for you. Now thank you to everyone who subscribes and hits that like button. We're going to do some re the readings this way um, so that you can see the cards rather than me and my moon talks you'll be seeing me talk. So it's we're going to give it a go. It's a little bit different. But Taurus, what's happening for you for 2021 overall energy for the year? You have major new beginnings. And this is going to be very focused around your career. Um, we have Jupiter now and uh, moving through and Saturn moving through Aquarius. Now Jupiter expands. Saturn's the teacher, the two is your 10th house of fame and honours, but that's about your career, who you are, what you give to the world, uh, shining a light on you. So reward time can come through 2021 for you, Taurus, this year, um, through career, through all the hard work you've probably done. Um, up until now but within that Uranus is there and in Taurus and continues to help you always break old patterns and develop um, I, I just want to say authenticity or a new authenticity but in saying that it, you know, Taurus what I want to say is it's all about being your authentic you Okay, and I think the whole of last year was getting you there to who you really are, to who you, or what you're really connected to. Um, yes, your foundations were changed, brought down, rocked, but that was all so that where you're leading to now in your career or um, job or situation, your security, your stability, I should say, you're going to really shine. The light's going to be on you. You're going to be recognized. You're going to get honors and rewards for all that's done. Um, so, you know, any change that comes in, expect to Uranus's unexpected change, it's actually continuing to help you. So there might be a little bit of follow on energy from what you were going through last year, breaking down patterns, breaking down structures. But Taurus, it's breaking down those structures so that the universe can shine its light on you, your fame, your honours um, within your career, the effort that you put in, the foundations you build, uh, the gifts and talents that you have. And to do our natural gifts and talents and really shine out in the world, we really do have to be our authentic self. So I feel it's trying to get you there really solidly in a new way, okay? Because it's all about moving forward in a new way now. But looks, let's see what spirit and the cards have to say. What's coming in for Taurus? Please take what's in, for the month of January. Please take what resonates. What doesn't resonate is not for you. We are talking to... Um, Taurus sun moon and rising as a collective the stories is either yours or it's not um, so what's coming through for Taurus spirit what do we need to hear for Taurus what's the message for Taurus for January 2021 yeah wow very um, straight away the cards are um, about you know, getting very, going very inward. We've got the Hermit card here, going very inward, connecting to your authentic you straight away. Um, Taurus, now also, this is about career, study, um, putting in the work, where you've put in the hard work, going back to the drawing board, um, thinking it through, thinking it through a different way. But there's a lot of thought being put in here, a lot of work, a lot of effort. But also, this person's also going much deeper into, um, who they are, their soul, their inner, inner light, their inner authenticity. Let's get some more cards though. Yeah, there's still some triggers here, Taurus. There's still some um, subconscious fears, blocks, beliefs, um, where you're being quite stubborn, quite resistant here. Um, and you're not wanting to hear or listen or change your ways, Taurus. Uh, they are known as the bull, the stubborn bull. Um, or if this isn't you, Taurus, please put it where if you're dealing with someone who's not listening, doesn't want to hear your side, doesn't want to hear your perspective, is really refusing. This person's really not listening here um, at all. It's either you, Taurus, or someone you're dealing with. 
please put it where it resonates. And I think you're kind of done with it. I think you kind of, there's a lot of theme. You know, this came up in the Aries reading as well. There's a theme going on here. There's a trigger, a fear, a subconscious issue. Um, and we're dealing with someone who's very stubborn or very stuck, or if you're very stubborn and very stuck. Um, and it's creating you to go further inward. And there will be a message from spirit, like an email, text, a conversation you're meant to have, a piece of information you are meant to receive from spirit about your new beginning. It is going to come through groups, associations, um, out and about, uh, like-minded people. But to me, um, for some of you, not all of you, a third-party situation. Now, if that's a relationship... Third party can mean someone else is in the mix, um, Taurus. But if it's just a third party, it could be a boss that tells you. It could be a friend that tells you something. It could be um, a stranger that comes in and tells you something. Third party does not have to mean, you know, an affair or anything like that. So um, we'll, we'll carry on because it'll get clearer as we do the cards here. Yeah, look everybody's every sign this month at the end of January is getting this completion or some kind of completion or moving forward or just um, making a decision to move forward. This is an absolute completion of a cycle. Even if you want to stay there stubborn and stuck and not listening, if that's you or someone else, there's going to be an ending to this whether you like it or not. This is the universe saying you can no longer do this. You can no longer continue this cycle. We're receiving um, support, someone helping us, information, job, career, whatever. There is something coming in here that you're receiving, Taurus. Um, know your worth, take action, know your worth, and end the cycle. Let's carry on and get some more clarifiers for you. Um, let's clarify the top row. Yeah, you, okay, it's, it's becoming more and more clear now for me. So, it looks like someone here, Taurus, <laughs> is definitely, the universe is definitely, definitely, even January it starts, but I believe this is all year, but definitely January. This is the universe or the hierophants like a judge stepping in. This is an order. This is going to happen. That's why this ending is going to happen. And when you get that ending, by the way, at the end of the month, look at all the choices it brings in. Every cup's full. It's not here yet. You don't know about it. But this is force. This is this is something that's going to take you. And the universe wants you to go deeper or look deeper or go more inward. And this is about your authentic you. This is you connecting to your authentic you. And it's even going to be, I don't want to use the word forced by the universe, but you can't get away with it. Look, you can analyze it. You can work it out. You can look deeper into it, study into it. You can do a pros and cons list. But they're saying you need to take the new path. This is the road untraveled. This is the zero, the, the, the new cycle. See, end of a cycle, 10 of swords, new cycle at the start. They're saying, please walk on the new cycle, new karmic cycle, new road, new path, new adventure. I've never been on it before, but have some faith, have some loyalty, have some faith. You've got loyalty, you've got protection here. Go on it. It, it's, it, it might be scary. And you're going to be really forced to go inward with that. And it is really going to trigger you, Taurus. This can be depression, the two up, she's right in, up in her head. This is a trigger subconscious fear. This is someone that believes they can't do it or something's been triggered in them, a fear, or they're really, for some of you, I just heard somewhat, Taurus, some of you are going to be really challenged in your perspectives or your foundation of how you thought it was meant to be or go whatever that situation is, whether it's a career, a relationship, you, life, there is a stubbornness there, a resistance to move forward. And this is only for the Tauruses who are being resistant, stuck or stubborn. Um, because look again, there's a theme here, not listening, not wanting to listen here, move forward, 
move forward. So I don't really mind whether you're fitting this into a relationship or a career or a job or a new way of doing or being. Um, you're either dealing with someone like this or this is you, Taurus, and there has to be a decision made and move on. There will be a message that you will get or receive in the month of January or a piece of information that will, will be emotional or overwhelming or bring clarity, but it is connected to your new beginning. You will get success. You are going to get set success, whether this is a third party in your life with your relationships or someone just tells you about something, about your job, your career, whatever. Um, it's success. It, it is good. You were meant to get it. It's going to bring the change. The will of fortune is about you making the decision. I like to call this my roundabout card. When we drive around a roundabout here, there's usually four exits. And the universe is kind of saying, which exit are you going to choose? Are you going to choose what we're giving you? This is a new receiving. This is receiving money, abundance and opportunity. Someone coming in to help you or give you more. And it's like, are you going to take it, Taurus? Are you going to take it? Or are you going to do this? And look into it too deeply and be stuck and challenge it and fear and triggered and this is just a subconscious fear or trigger and sometimes it's the I don't do things that way that's not the way it works for me um, you there is a real challenge here and all of it is about taking the new path here making a decision and moving forward this is your new beginning Here's the change. We're trying to give it to you, whether it's relationship, career, direction. Um, it's loud and clear. There is definitely something coming in here for you, Taurus. And this is about taking action again. It's about take action on the new path. The universe is stepping in here, trying to get to your soul, your authentic you, you to go inward and listen to your intuition here. But you go to in the head, you go up in your head, you're not listening here and every single thing is about moving on, moving forward here, we're trying to give it to you and again they're saying take action, know your worth, take action, You, but again you're not or you don't feel you can or you don't want to. But I feel this resistance and not listening here Taurus, or if you're dealing with someone like that, is actually bringing the burnout. It's bringing the stress. So it's either you or this person is bringing the stress. For some of you, it'll be you. For some of you, on to you. For some of you, or in a relationship. Or some of you, it's someone you're dealing with. And there will be an ending. So you are will go through this through the month of January. But there is a completion here. And that's sometimes good to know at the end. This cycle is going to end regardless. It's got to. The universe said it has to. So, and when it does, you may not have the exact what's next or which cup is it. And this is all about up in the air, but they are there and they are coming and there are choices and every choice, every cup has something in it. And the universe is saying, we're bringing this to you. We're trying to bring you more of this option, op options, opportunities. Um, every cup's full. So trust this ending and completion. Let's get some more clarifiers on this because this is interesting for us. So know that there is more, even if you're not sure now. See, sometimes we um, won't leave a job until there's another job or we're forced to leave a job and not knowing there's another job and we go through all this emotional energy and fear. But they're like, um, this had to end and we're bringing you more, but you can't see it. Just because it's not there doesn't mean it's not there. <laughs> Because, you know, Taurus is that, that the practical, logical next step, next step, and they have to see the next step. I want to take a step if they can't see the next step. Yeah, there it is. Definitely asking you to stop weighing it up, lodging it up, doing pros and cons lists, 
um, looking too deeply in it or procrastination or you know he's very up in his head doing study or, or really looking into a situation researching it both cards on top of that card said please take action time to take action time to take the new path the leap of faith the new direction whatever it is career um, relationship whatever comes up for you yep the universe is making you go inward put the past behind you the old ways behind you standing firm in your authenticity this person's being authentic when we go into the hermit it's your soul it's your inner light it's your authenticity um yes yeah, see taurus you like the slow practical long term i want to know the long term outcome i'm not ready yet and that's causing the trigger and the and the fear and the of the change and the depression or the heaviness. I'm not ready yet. This is triggering me. I believe, Taurus, you know these changes are coming, um, whatever they are for you, and you're not ready for it quite just yet. But through the month of January towards the end, you definitely, for some of you, it's definitely career, like support, security, stability. Generally, that's relationship. Generally, that's home, family, security, stability. Um, I want to marry you. I want to have a home with you. Um, but it could be just foundation support. Um, you're not wanting to move on from something here, Taurus. Definitely, but a decision has to be made and you will move on. Um, yeah, see, not ready to rip off that blindfold. Or with this card here, there's still there's information or a message coming that will help you take this blindfold off or show you something you did not see. So you're going to be shown something or told something you did not see or you'll be told something where you're kind of forced to rip off that blindfold where you didn't want to before because it's so emotional or or heart alignment or you know something you want to do you got to the success card there's there's definitely groups connections people support here um and then you're the magician what do you want this is about pulling all your skills, all your knowledge, all your tools together, all your potions. And the magician says, right, this is what I'm going to make. This is what I'm going to create. This is what I'm going to move forward in. And we've got that wheel of fortune, the change, receiving with the six of pentacles. Someone's wanting to give you something. This is abundance coming from someone, something. Um, and again, this person's not wanting to kind of talk about it or take action in it and we have the deceit and deception card on the mentally emotionally physically spiritually burnt out done over it can't keep doing that cycle okay so i got the message some of you taurus are still doing a cycle you are still doing a cycle that is not helping you it is blocking you and to me it, it, it is a bit about the unknown or not knowing the next step or not trusting or not believing there's more than one cup there's more than one opportunity so you know the taurian energy does get very sort of um sort of fixed solid they like to know that step then that step then the next step and they do it slowly and practically and logically and they've mastered that they're great at that they already have that in them but they're not very good at that other balanced side of being a little bit um hopeful or living in the unknown and not knowing the next step because we have to balance everything up Everything's balanced. We're not asking you to not be practical, not be logical, not be um, do things properly. That's not what's being said here. What's being said here is there is a cycle, and I think you'll know what it is, each individual one of you, Taurus, what that is for you and where this fits, this information. This is, a, this can, this is not going to go on whether you want it to or not, and some of you don't want it to go on, but there has to be a little bit of trust here. I'm just going to pull a couple more cards because that, that's very interesting. So it's it's a really go into your truth, your inner truth, your authenticity. And honestly, there's a higher order here. There's a universal. You can't fight the universe on this. This is something that's going to be forced change in a way 
that you are you need to take that new and trust and connect with your authenticity and all the abundance comes yes yeah, see the hanged man energy i just wanted a couple of more cards on this yep absolutely the hanged man means you feel powerless or you feel i don't know the next step or there is no step even if i'm looking for it what is it you know that type of energy or i want to move but i can't hanged man can't do anything suspended because there's more to see there's more to do there's more to heal there's more to learn there's more to whatever um they don't want you to move at the moment there's something you're not fully getting here not fully hearing not fully receiving okay and it is about receiving we've got the queen of cups here and and being in touch with your emotions not just your head practical logical in with your emotions receiving love connection what are you truly connected to taurus what is your soul saying what's your authenticity what is your true authenticity saying your soul connection where you connect emotionally where you're receiving and fulfilled emotionally not just practically logically emotionally and with the emperor here it's showing me there is a big you know taurus reminds me it's an aries card but it reminds me of the the ruler you know taking care of everyone the practical the logical making all those decisions um and the emperor does like to plan a long-term plan. He doesn't just take quick action. He's the god of war. He plans it. He strategizes. He makes his next move. Because he's got responsibility for a lot of people, places, and situations. He's usually ruling a kingdom. But what they're asking here for, I believe, is balance, Taurus. Balance within you of being the practical but also being, oh, I don't want to say impractical, so that's not the right word. Being you, being the practical, logical, having that foundation, but also having this other half of the bit of the unknown, bit of trusting in the unknown, the leap of faith, all in connection with your true authenticity within your soul and what makes you happy emotionally. So they're asking for emotional balance along with the, the practical logical balance They've, it's all got to be balanced out now taurus it really does and you're going to go through a whole year and look at look at the abundance it's going to bring it's going to bring more than you possibly imagine so let's say this is a career offer a new job direction that you've never done before it's going to bring you more let's say you have to leave a relationship or a friendship or a group or an association that you're really loyal to um taurus you are going to get more more than you expect this is asking you to say there's not one cup this this is going to complete and you have no idea what's next or how many cups are next but you don't realize there's more than one cup there's more than you expect coming whether that's a relationship for you or a career or you within you um breaking free from limitations breaking free from old structures i can see that you are going to get absolute clarity and move towards your passion and that's what they're talking about receiving and connection emotionally here moving towards your passion which is your inner soul your authenticity your truth and living in that and you shine that out to the world this year in 2021 and start that energy off moving forward taurus you are going to be to your 10th house of fame and honours. You will be in the spotlight as in rewards, being recognised, acknowledged for, for you and who you are and your authenticity. That is the big call. Not just doing what's practical and logical. We've got to balance it up now um, with the emotional with that and it's a win-win and that's true authenticity when we when we look at it like that. So there it is. It's all about trusting your intuition at the moment, Taurus. Um, more than that, that, you know, practical, logical pros and cons list, looking at analysing it. He's too focused on what he's doing to be in connection with his emotions. So if this is you, Taurus, balance it out. If it's someone else, they're asking you to balance that out and be in your true, authentic self. And when we're in that, we are balanced logically, practically, mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. And, and that emotional side is in um, sync or union with our 
practical and logical. So there it is, Taurus. I hope this helps start off the year for you um, for uh, January 2021 and beyond. I'll be get, trying to get as many readings out as I possibly can and starting hopefully all the zodiacs up again for the year. But I thought I'd give you a little um, January Happy New Year reading. Thank you, Taurus. Bye.